Bibles to Hezekiah 18, 793.5. This is Brian Sternberg. He is the youth pastor of the First Baptist Church of Downers Grove. Now as we look here today, you can see that God is saying that stealing is okay. But only if it's from the righteous, from the poor, that, that's not cool, man. But you can steal from the rich people. I'm a bit thirsty here, so I'm just gonna... As you can see, Brian Sternberg is the most successful youth pastor in America. In this video, he's agreed to share with you some of his secrets and tips that have got him to this position you see him in today. So the Bible clearly says that stealing is okay! You can take from the rich people! You can take your father-in-law's car! And there's nothing he can do about it! God says it is okay to steal from the rich! Can I get an amen? I don't know, if you ask me who was the greatest preacher in the world, I'd say me. As for a second, I mean, people, it's kind of hard for them to compare. I mean, maybe, maybe Billy Graham, Jesus. Here we see Brian after a great Sunday morning of teaching in the youth room about to partake in his favorite song called Days of Elijah. And these are the days of your servant Moses proclaiming the word of the Lord. And these are the days of Elijah. Wow! Days of Elijah is probably the best song on this planet. I mean, it's better than any song any man could possibly write. Sometimes when I'm playing Days of Elijah, I feel like I'm levitating out of my body and watching Elijah play Days of Elijah in the Days of Elijah. It's, it's just so good. Days of Elijah is the worst song ever. Of all the songs that have ever been written about anything, if you line them all up and pick the worst one, it would be Days of Elijah. That song is horrendous, period. Youth Pastors Log Day 367. I've been finding it hard to keep my energy up. I mean, after the strain of youth pastoring, I just need a way to keep it up. So I've fallen back on this heavenly, heavenly drink. I mean, Mountain Dew is just the be-all and end-all of any liquid. It's clearly the best drink on this planet. Well, I'll just come on in and sit down. Okay. What's on your mind? Um, well, how do I put this? Uh, I did this certain thing, um, and I, I went to Burger King for, for a snack, more, more of a lunch thing anyways, and I got six of their delicious tacos. And if I remember right, I also got a large Dr. Pepper. Yeah, it's large Dr. Pepper, and I was, I was eating it. I was eating the tacos, and I'm drinking the Dr. Pepper, and I got six refills uh, on the Dr. Pepper. Um, so that, that's a lot of pop. And, uh, well, I was drinking that, and I, and I had to go, because I, I just realized that I had to get to my sister's piano recital. 
Um, so I ran out the door, and on the way to the car, it just hits me. Um, I really had to answer the call of nature, and if you know what I'm talking about, there was no phone booth available. So I just ran to the side of the Burger King, right on the corner, and I... What did you say? I'm sorry, what was that? You need, you need to speak up here. What? Seriously, speak I, up. I peed on the building. What? That's awful! I peed Why on would you do that? Don't call the authorities! That's probably the worst thing I've ever seen! Don't call the authorities! I'm calling the cops right now. I will, I will call them. Don't. I will. Uh, I gotta go nab a hooligan right here. Part of being as good of a youth pastor as I am is, well, you have to help the students through their individual problems. That you know, sometimes it just doesn't say in the Bible, "Don't be on public buildings," but you can't have your students running around doing that. So usually I just sit there and help them work it out. So many people have come to Jesus through my wonderful counseling sessions. And remember, there's no such thing as a lost cause. Sometimes after my splendid sermons, I like to stand out here and just see people off as they leave the church. Ooh. Well, Mr. Sternberg, I enjoyed your sermon on Hezekiah this morning. It's very, it's very good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's really blustery and cold out here. I hope you, uh... Oh, it is. I hope you first Baptist folks can keep up the shoveling and plowing here. What? <laughs> of course we can keep the shoveling and plowing up! How dare you insult the FBC staff! Salt the church. And that is when I learned you don't insult the church. You don't insult the church. You just don't. Sometimes when I'm not hanging out with the kids or teaching the kids or doing my other youth pastor duties, I like to just work out in the church to stay in shape. I mean, when you're working with high school and junior high students, it's kind of, kind of hard to keep up. Wow! Yeah! Oh, feels good. Oh, feels burn. Wow! sweat a lot. I just, uh, uh, this is, this is only just a little bit mild, but I mean, uh, I had to do some heavy lifting there. Oh, man. Body temperature is at dangerous heights. Oh, man. I need to, I need to cool off somehow. So use this technique that I learned from the monks in Trinity University. This cooling technique. So during the games at youth group, I mean it's really all about the kids. It's, it's 
not about the leaders. I mean, I make sure that the leaders, especially myself, aren't involved at all. So it's about the kids not having fun and uh, kids having fun. And it's definitely not about winning. It's about having a good time and learning teamwork and pointing to Jesus with these games. So I make sure that I'm not involved at all. And I make sure that it's not about winning because nothing's about winning. And I just make sure that it's only the kids playing and that I don't have to intervene. Today we're just going to play a game of basketball here, so I'm just going to go grab the ball here. Alright! He's ready to lose! Wow! Ready to play some basketball? Woo! Oh, yeah! Alright. I want a nice clean game. Okay? Oh. Riding with my top down, listening to this Jesus yeah. Christ. Back on the grind again, I know it's been a little while, but it's time again Folks have to crank, when you gonna rhyme again I'm like, yeah, hold up, give me time, I'm gonna see a lot of things change, some stay the same I'm from H town to D town, I'm gonna smack One thing is for sure, everywhere I go People call up in self money, cars and clothes, yeah They talk about it all the time and put it in their songs They drive around and play it loud like it ain't nothing wrong And now they talk about it, simple stuff Got everybody acting bad, thinking that they a thug And they trying to drown me out, but now they ain't gonna Count me out. I got a backpack full of tracks, plus I keep a Johnny Max so we can pan it out. Plus I'm bumping these Jesus peace whenever they see me. People looking all confused, cause every one of my tunes is screaming Jesus peace. I was bumping that trip, Lee. BJ rolling with me. Both our heads nodding like we dozing or we tipsy. But we ain't been drinking, man. Now this song's just banging, man. Got us screaming Jesus out the window while we changing lanes, while we just riding with my top down, listening to this. Sometimes I like to give the students a hands-on experience in helping me clean out the church. So today I'm going to have young AJ help me clean out the balcony. Yeah, um, I've been charged with public nudity a few times. Um, pretty much a world-class criminal. And this... <laughs> This is the best way I can get my community service done. Let's just leave it at that. AJ, are you ready for me to bestow the cushions? Oh, yes! He's all good. He's all good. I killed a student once. We don't talk about that. Where Crane and Elevate collide. I'll do a good logo. New logo. What? What is that logo? I don't like it. What happened to the Elevate and the collision? This is not dynamic. There is no colliding. Nobody's colliding. This is ridiculous. So I was sitting around thinking about what I can do for the youth group to help it just move forward. I mean, just to you know, reach the community even better than we have. And then it hit me. I really hate the Elevate name. And I mean, the Crave verse, John 3.30, he must become greater, I must become less. It's so much better. I mean, it's all about craving Jesus. And so then I decided to just get rid of the Elevate name, make it all Crave. And with this, I got rid of the ugly Crave logo and replaced it with this beauty right here. Isn't it wonderful? You know, I'm not the only one who thinks this. Everybody does. I was kind of expecting more than this. Kind of made it sound like it was all awesome and stuff. It's just boring. Here, let me see it. Hmm. It sucks! It sucks! Here. Yeah. 
What is this? It's it's the it's new logo. The new logo? You, you want me to say what? About the lo but I like the logo. This is actually really nice. And, and, whoa! Okay, calm down. AJ, where did you learn that language? Are you. If, I don't even want to be in your movie then anyway. This is T for Tim. Very nice, I like this. Tim Crave. Tim Crave. See this here? Uh, it, it, it's alright. Uh, I mean, I was, I was pushing for a different idea. I was hoping... I was really pushing for the unicorn. That where the head had had like had like an arrow, a flaming arrow going, and it made a cross. Uh, it just didn't fly with the majority, I guess. But I mean, it's, it's decent. I know I'm only the youth pastor, but I can do everybody else's jobs better. You know, sometimes we get so just caught up in our everyday lives. We just forget normal things. Sometimes I'm just sitting there in the bathroom looking in the mirror saying, how did I get to be the greatest youth pastor in the world? I mean, am I really that good? And I remember, yeah I am! I said Jesus, you say rocks, Jesus! So I was thinking of some more of my amazing, innovative, creative, pretty much all around awesome ideas for, uh, to, you know, to bring Cray forward. Like, we really need to fix the lights in here. I mean, I can't see anyone. The lights are so bad. I mean, huh. Seriously, are you even there? Yeah, I'm here. I was thinking we need to get this huge silo filled with Parmesan cheese and just put it right outside the youth room there. So when we do those spaghetti dinner things, people can just go out there, get as much cheese as they want. Uh, yeah, those are, those are interesting. Uh, I was thinking maybe uh, we could try bringing back that uh, Crave um, film festival contest we used to do. What do you think about that? Whoa. I just had such an amazing original idea. What's that? We should have a video contest. Oh my gosh, this is the best thing I ever saw. Oh my gosh, are you guys artists? This is this is beautiful. This is so beautiful.